Okay, now that we've let our watercolor dry thoroughly, we are gonna go ahead and take our polar bear and we are going to cut him out, okay? So we are going to carefully cut this space between the polar bear and then all the way around. I don't wanna cut off too much of my oil pastel, but this is a great way if you made like a stray mark on accident, you're just gonna cut that right off. And just a reminder again that the sharpest part of your scissors is this inside part and not to use this tip here. And then to always use your non-scissor hand to help you turn your paper. Don't try to turn with your scissors because you could catch and rip. All right, so I got that chunk out. Now I have to go back and go on the outside. Now I don't want there to be like a weird white halo around my polar bear. So I'm making sure that I am cutting on the oil pastel, but keeping the majority of that oil pastel on the polar bear. Working my way around carefully, not trying to touch my polar bear too much. I don't want him to smudge in the wrong spot. Okay. I'm going to cut this away quick before I go back to this side. And then just a reminder to recycle your scraps. Don't leave a mess in your house for someone else to clean up. All right. So I've got my, my polar bear and he looks great. And we are going to glue him down. When we glue him down, we are going to put him down here on the uh, bottom edge of our paper. Okay, just like this. And then we have that beautiful background coming to life behind us. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and flip this polar bear over. You have a choice. You can use your glue stick, which was in your kit, or you can use the uh, some white glue that you probably have at home. If you're using the white glue, remember you are going to make an inside line, no puddles, no weird dots everywhere. So I'm tracing my shape, but coming inward about an inch from the edge. And then I'm just coming around like this and I'll put a little bit in the middle, just make sure that gets glued down. So look carefully, my glue is nowhere near that very edge, all right? Okay, so now I'm gonna carefully pick up these sides of my polar bear, turn him around. I'm gonna line up those feet and then I'm going to gently tap him down. Or her, could be a girl, right? Awesome. All right, and then if you can't see your snowflakes anymore or maybe the watercolor paper just didn't quite resist them, you could go back and find them and just add a little bit more white oil pastel on top and have them pop out a little bit more. That's completely up to you if you would like to do that. If you are happy with the way it looks as is, then you are good to go and you are finished. Just a reminder though, if you always would like to sign your work, there's not a good spot on this project to sign your work, but I typically say the bottom left corner and I usually use a like a black flare pen or a really fine tip sharpie. Um, don't use like a fat sharpie or anything that's going to be gigantic. Remember it's a, it's about your artwork not about your name. So if you do want to put your name maybe today we would put it in the upper right corner but that's totally your call. You could always put it on the back like we're used to when we are in school and we normally write your your name, your teacher code on the back, but you don't need that for this year. Just maybe your name so that you remember um, and maybe date it as well. So you could put the date on the back for when you made it. And that way you remember your polar bear experience.